Hi everyone and uh, welcome to Burnham Hunters. I'm just going to show you an update on all the teas I've got. Um, I've got two scorpions up there. They are the um, Asian black bar scorpions. I've got these teas here. Um, so we're going to start with this one right here. So this one is my um, Grandma Solo Portari, Claire. She's currently in Primont. She's uh, around about four inches. Okay, so okay. But just waiting for a moment, as you can see, all these webs that she built. So, obviously, a web head, just waiting for a moment. Gucci. This one here is my Tridacolor. Um, Klagenbergi, the new Mexican tarantula, possibly male, around about three or four inches. Lovely tea, nonetheless. Good weather. All these trap lines. There's another one I dare open the tank. <laughs> really fast. Very deadly. If you can see that, Processaria Metallica, the Gooty Sapphire or a Mental. I put it this way, it took me an hour to get this one into the tub and it was not fun. But at the minute it's only got the little blue coloration, uh, not blue, the grey sorry, until it gets a little bit older and then I'll get that metallic blue. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Okay, here is my Juvenile Acanthus Garrigan Chocolata. A giant white knee. It's not an enclosure. Only about four to five centimetres, I believe. But not big. Beautiful coloration, so. Cool. Let's move on to this one. This one is my Trollocuddle Upper Bloatsome, the Hondurian Curly Hair. Never be able to eat a cricket currently in a minute. Oh, and it's going to have crickets again. Lovely, lovely tea. Okay, here is the Brachypoma Emilia, the Mexican fire leg, I think, or is that the Bomi? I can't even remember the common name to the species. Only small, about two to three centimetres, not that big, possibly in pre -mont. but another beautiful tea that I can't wait to grow up. And this one is my four centimetre Lacedoria Pahabana, the salmon pink bird eater. Kind of skish, so be an extra careful. <laughs> I know I don't really say a lot in these videos, but I uh, don't really know what to say, to be honest. But this is my Nandu Triberry, and that is a springtail, by the way. It is not a mite. Um, this is my Nandu Triberry, the Brazilian Giant Blonde, possibly in free mold. But we'll see when it comes time to feeding. Quite a fast one, too. Go, let's move on to the babies. Uh, this one up there, I have two of these, the Carbonara Brassicolor, the Martini Pinto, and it will no focus. Um, let's see if we can find the other one here as well. Uh, yeah, there it is. It won't focus. But yep, two of them. Only things, about two centimetres. Oh, let's move on to this one. Okay, this is my baby Lacedoria difficilis. Uh, again, I've got the common name to this one. Only one centimetre thing. But an aggressive eater. Here, uh, down there, is my Brachypalma albiceps, the Mexican gold red rump. One centimetre thing. 
down here. I don't know if you can see it right now. Do you have light? Huh. Now, it, there is my one centimetre yeah, Nandu Chromatis, the white striped bird here. Yeah. Obviously, it made a burrow on all four sides. Right here is my man, Shijinko, the peacock praying mantis. Sometimes he likes to come on me. There we go. <laughs> He's cool. I really like him. And doesn't these two enclosures. I got my Asian black polar scorpions. But I'll probably show them when it comes to feeding day. I'll end up doing a feeding video soon anyway. But yeah, that's all of them. And thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one.